This workshop is going to look at three very similar ground-dwelling streaky brown birds. Meadow pipit and tree pipit can be very challenging to separate, especially if seen out of context. But first we have to make sure that we are not looking at a skylark. All three of these species can be found in uplands, moorland, heathland and forestry. Skylark is a largish, stocky songbird, almost approaching redwing in size. Found year-round, it is most often thought of as a farmland bird, particularly in the south and east. But as well as this and the previously mentioned habitats, skylarks can also be found in grassland, coastal habitats and, perhaps surprisingly, in recently felled or replanted woodland. Numbers are high, with some 1.4 million territories, and the species is found throughout the UK and Ireland. Skylarks should be very easy to separate from the two pipits. If seen well, the small crest on the head is obvious, and, when flushed, skylarks often flutter low before dropping back to the ground. Their wings are quite long, but noticeably broad, and have a white trailing edge. The outer tail feathers are also white, although these can be less obvious. The familiar song of Skylark is an unceasing outpouring, seemingly delivered without breath and sometimes lasting for 10 minutes or even more. This is almost invariably delivered from high above, with the bird more often than not invisible. If you can see it, the bird will be holding station above its territory and singing its song from this lofty location. We will be returning to look at Skylark in more detail in a future workshop, when we will consider it alongside its rarer cousin, Woodlark. For now, however, we will concentrate on telling the two pipits apart. Both pipits have a similar body size to house sparrow, but are much more slender. Indeed, both can have a similar size and shape to a pied wagtail, but with a shorter tail. Being slim, horizontal and with mobile tails, pipits can give a wagtail-like appearance. Meadow pipit is by far the most common of the two species. In fact, it is one of the most widespread and ubiquitous of all UK species, with some 1.9 million territories and found in a wide range of habitats. In summer, it is probably the commonest species on heaths, moors and upland areas. It is also found in any open habitat, although at much lower density on lowland farmland. In winter and on passage, however, meadow pipits become much more common on farmland and desert the very high ground. Due to how widespread and common meadow pipit is, it should be considered the default pipit and all others compared to it. Brown above and streaked white below, they are the epitome of the little brown bird. The overall brown tone, however, can vary dramatically across the year and between individuals, with some birds appearing greyish, others brown and others strikingly olively green above. The undersides are buffish white, with the colour strongest on the flanks, and the streaks are heavy. The bill is narrow, a typical insect-eating bird's beak, and the pink legs long, although be aware meadow pipit often crouch in a nervous way. The birds flick their tails nervously too. Meadow pipits are the favoured food of many predators, and the birds always give me the impression that they know this. Almost invariably found on the ground, or low down, and very rarely sitting in trees, Meadow pipit can occasionally be found perched on posts or fences from where they will sometimes sing. The song, along with Skylark, is one of the characteristic sounds of open areas. The full song is delivered in a song flight, invariably starting on the ground and returning to the ground. It starts as a series of short zip-zip-zip calls, rising in pitch, speed and urgency. This simple starting pattern can be delivered incessantly from the ground or low perch, but the full song is only heard during the song flight, when the bird starts rising into the air, and as it reaches the apex of the flight, the notes suddenly become more fluty, buzzy and complex, as the bird balloons back down, with wings stretched and tail up. One phrase that is often heard during this descent is choo 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 choo. The flight call is a slower version of the sharp zip 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 part of the song, uttered by birds flying over, often alerting you to their presence, especially on passage and when flushed. It may help to remember by thinking that the birds are trying to shout out their name as you flush them, mip, mip, mip as they rise. Tree pipit is a much scarcer bird and a summer migrant, arriving in April and leaving by October. 
It is found in much of the UK, but with a very north and western bias, with outposts on the southern heaths and in the forests of East Anglia. The species is not found in Ireland, and only some 88,000 pairs nest. The species is almost always associated with trees, as its name suggests, although it avoids mature woodlands, preferring scattered trees and young trees and scrub. When seen, familiarity with meadow pipit really does help. Tree pipit is ever so slightly bigger than meadow pipit, marginally stouter and stockier with a heavier bill. Although sharing the brown above, pale below colouring, tree pipit always tends towards more olivey green. The flank streaks are much finer than the breast streaks and the undersides are a much cleaner white with a creamy breast. The whole bird is more crisply marked in fact and does often display a noticeable pale spot over the ear. On the ground where they feed, tree pipits appear more confident with smooth bold walking action, not at all jerky like the meadow pipit, and it pumps its tail rhythmically rather than flicking it nervously. Tree pipits do spend much time in trees and can often be encountered singing from the very tops. The song is much richer than that of meadow pipit. Often it starts with a series of chip 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 notes, followed by a varied range of buzzy, clear and loud repeated notes, sometimes with a surprisingly chaffinch-like phrase. Tree pipit also sing a song flight, which may start from the ground or from a tree, but which invariably returns to a tree or high perch although very rarely the one the song started in. In the same way as meadow pipit, tree pipits balloon back down, but usually they have their legs dangling. In the descending phase of the flight, a characteristic see you, see you, see you, see you phrase is often heard. The call is quite different to meadow pipit, a drawn out buzzy spliz, which once learnt can be picked out as the birds migrate overhead.